Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with ENV. We have another exciting video for you. And today, in front of you, we have a six pound whole chicken. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting this chicken on the Kamado Joe Classic 3 using the Rotisserie Joe. We're going to rotisserie this chicken. And before we rotisserie it, of course, we have to season it and get it brined, get some uh, flavors infused in the chicken. So what I'm going to do is um, use about a half a cup of salt, half a cup of sugar. I'm going to be putting a little brown sugar in it. And I'm also going to be putting some uh, Maggie, some soy sauce into this um, brine. And we're going to let this sit for about 24 hours and um, get it nice and fused with flavors. And, and just, it's just going to be happy. So stay tuned. I'm going to get everything prepared. I'm going to get the um, flavors together. So that we can go ahead and uh, do our marinade. And uh, we'll bring it back. So stay tuned. Okay, for our marinade, I have some uh, water. Some Maggi. Some garlic. Some thyme. I also put some black uh, pepper in there. And also some um, Szechuan peppercorns. So we're going to let this uh, get infused, get happy. And also uh, we got some sugar, some salt in there. We're going to go ahead and let this uh, come to a simmer. And then once it comes to a simmer, I'll take it off the heat and uh, let it cool down. And then we'll pour it over our chicken. We'll go ahead and put it in the refrigerator overnight. I made it. This is Thursday. I may do this Saturday. So... If I do it Saturday, it's going to have like 48 hours of marinating. And it's going to be great. The 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 um, flavors of the um, this marinade is going to infuse that meat. And it's going to penetrate it. And it's going to be delicious. Alright, so stay tuned. We'll see you later. Okay, everyone. Thank you for tuning back in. And... Here is our six pound whole chicken. It's been brining in salt solution, sugar, peppercorns, garlic, and some various other spices for about two days right now. I patted it dry. The skin is real tacky right now. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and truss it up and get it ready for the Kamado Joe, Joe rotisserie. So I got some um, butcher's twine here, and I'm going to go ahead and start with one leg. I'm going to go ahead and make a knot, simple knot, tied about three times like that so it holds it secure. I'm going to go ahead and tie these legs together, that way there's no flopping around on the jotisserie. Nothing special, just kind of make sure it's kind of secure so everything's cooked even and you don't have any uh, burn spots on your leg. Alright, so we're just going to loop that through here like this and create a little knot. Let me get the knife. I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday afternoon, getting ready maybe for your uh, big uh, Memorial Day cookout. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and tie these wings up. We just want to keep them close to the body so they're not flapping around and possibly burning. Keep everybody close. And we're just going to do a regular butcher's knot one loop I mean one turn two turns and this will keep it from coming apart for a little knot that's it all right we got our 
my bird all trussed up. I'm gonna go ahead and pat it dry. Then we're gonna put some olive oil on it. This is some garlic infused olive oil. And I have some um, seasonings here. A little rub I made up. Uh, buttery steakhouse kinders. Some lemon pepper seasoning. One packet of Goya Sazon. Some smoked paprika. Garlic powder. And onion powder. And I combined all of those flavors in this little shaker. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to be right back. When I come back, this will be all nice and seasoned up. And uh, we're going to prepare to put it on the jotisserie. Okay, beautiful people. I wanted to bring you back and show you the seasoning process of uh, for this bird. Like I said, this is olive oil infused with garlic. Smells absolutely delicious. I love this stuff. I cooked some eggs with it the other day. And it took my eggs to another level. I just want to make sure we get some good penetration. There's a lot of olive oil inside here. We just got some foreign entities. Get out of here. Okay. Turn her over. Apply some more on the same on the other side. Nice and and I'm losing my twine here. So I gotta redo it. All right, we're gonna take our spice blend, our rub. We're going pretty liberal on this. And the ones that I, the spots that I miss, I'll catch those on the spit. That um, paprika. And the sazon is going to give it a nice color. Really nice color is going to give it. Make sure you get all the sides. Okay, I'm going to have to redo that. Uh, tie these wings up. That's no big deal. Gives me a chance to get the outside of my wings. And you can use... Any rub you like, there's no uh, nothing saying that you can't use your favorite rub or one of your rubs that you just make up with the seasonings that you have in your pantry. That works just the same. You want to get every bit of this bird. Get the legs. Got to have legs. Right, we also want to get some down in this cavity here. All right, looks good. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is, I should've did this first, but it's cool. I'm gonna get my fingers up in here in the skin area. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply some rub under this uh, skin. flavor on that skin there. All right. That's good. Get one more spot. And these seasonings, I use a teaspoon of each. And I'll go over it again just in case you just tuned in. A teaspoon of Kinder's Butter Steakhouse. A, t a teaspoon of lemon pepper. A teaspoon of 
smoked paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. All right, guys. Next time you see me, I'll be getting this on the spit. The Kamado Joe at this moment is heating up. I got some um, oak, post oak wood that I'm going to use as a smoking um, flavor. And uh, it's just going to be delicious. And we got a surprise for, well, it ain't really a surprise. We're going to do another cook tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some ribs tomorrow, some spare ribs. And I'm going to cut those down to base, uh, base St. Louis. I'm going to cut those down to uh, St. Louis style. All right, so stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. All right, family, it's time to get this bird on. Let's do it. That color is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, our Kamado Joe is at around 252.75. That's where I want to be at. We got some good smoke rolling down there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put her... in the spit as you can see I'm off centered a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loosen this up while I can before it gets too hot slide that baby over a little bit keeping the rotisserie Joe plum looks about right that tighten it back down. All right. Now I have some spots right here, and you'll see. We're gonna get a little more seasoning on there. Want to season her up right here. Take our shaker. Uh oh, sorry about that people. Trying to work with one hand, hold the camera in one hand. And apply seasoning in the other. As you can see that that's that Kinder's um, seasoning. That's the little bits and stuff that didn't come through on the um, through the shake down. All right, let's go spread this around a little bit. Of course, my hands are impeccably clean. Whatever happened to her? I can't remember her name. If you remember the lady on YouTube, and I haven't seen her videos in a while, she always says, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Put it in the comments down below if you remember her name. All right, let's let it roll. And if you haven't noticed, I got my deflector shield here. That's just to keep some of the drippings off of the um, bottom of the um, charcoal grill, I mean the um, where the charcoal go at, charcoal basket, and the charcoal is banked all the way to the side, on one side, and there's nothing underneath here. All right, so we're gonna close her up, and we're gonna check back in about, well, I'd say about 45 minutes. All right, people. All right, fam, it's getting real close. The chicken is looking absolutely delicious. It smells so good that uh, post oak wood that I'm using is just gonna complement this chicken. We're gonna be pulling it probably in another 10 or 15 minutes. Next time I bring it back, we'll be doing the uh, taste test and we're gonna cut into it, do a taste test and uh, see how we did. So stay tuned.
Hello everyone, we're back and thank you for tuning in and staying with us and cooking with E&V. And our rotisserie chicken is done. It is absolutely beautiful. It looks delicious. It's very juicy. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to cut into it. I'm going to attempt to try to carve this because my carving skills are not that great. But we're going to do the best we can. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna split this down the middle. Take this knife right here, it's longer. And we're gonna just cut right through this baby. Give you a close up. It is very moist, very juicy. Look at that y'all. That make your mouth wanna water. And we have a special guest with us tonight. My uh, my daughter-in-law. She's gonna be doing the taste test. We're gonna cut a piece of this breast off first. Still very hot. That's really hot. You know we let it rest for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Just gonna take some slices off. This is the breast meat. We're gonna taste that first. So let me bring you in close. Let me introduce you to um, Alexis. Come on in, Alexis. Yay. Everyone, this is Alexis Pam. This is my daughter-in-law. And she's gonna do our sample taste test on how we did on this rotisserie chicken. Let me get you a, you want a fork or you just wanna yes. get the back? Okay. So taste skin first. Hmm? Taste him first? Yeah. Oh, Whatever you want to do. Might be easy for me to scrap it. And be objective and be, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, honest. Honest and critique me. That's good. Really? I'm not just saying, just said it. That's good. You want me to grab this? It's juicy. Very juicy. Right. <laughs> Did I hit it out the park? Can I have the rest of it? Oh, yes, yeah, that most definitely. <laughs> well, it's everyone, right you heard it. Uh, and and uh, we have an objective opinion here. Um, I'm sure she was honest. I know she was. I mean, it wasn't like, mm, okay, this is good. I'm taking a piece. Go right ahead. I'm going to eat it all. Well, look, we're going to close this video out. Look forward to a, another video tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what I'm cooking, but we're definitely going to drop another video. Um, if you like what we're doing and what you see, please subscribe to Cooking with EMV. Hit that like button. Hit that um, bell to get notifications of new videos that we drop. And uh, send us a comment. We love you guys. Have a safe Memorial Weekend. And remember, love one another and be kind to people. We love you guys. We're out.